Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Airships Conquer the Skies. This might actually appeal to those of you who enjoy Rule the Waves, at least some of you, but it's a small indie game as well. I think pretty much almost entirely made by this David Stark, maybe not the art assets, possibly. Uh, the concept is basically you design and build airships and try to conquer the world with them, as the name kind of implies. It's a lot more whimsical than Rule the Waves is, but I quite enjoy it actually. So we're going to take a look here. Settings. I'll leave all the victory options on. And with a large map, we'll go with. It can be quite hard at the start of the game, and then it gets a lot easier late on. We'll go with hard difficulty, and if we fail horribly, then we restart. <laughs> Default monsters, normal research, tier 1 starting tech. Um, what do we call ourselves? Sure. In the absence of any suggestions, I'm going to go with... I think Sea Lord's port is too clunky. So I'm going to go with Lord's Port, probably. Now, let's see here. Okay, we should actually pick... Interestingly, your uh, coat of arms actually gives you bonuses, or at least a lot of them do. Like an anvil is actually a really good thing to ha I mean, this is basically your way of picking. You can sort of reduce difficulty with... Uh, with these. Some of which are just downright. Oops, even this one is really good. But I put it on hard difficulty, so I'll probably let myself have an anvil just to offset that a little. Hi, Brussel Picker. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty niche, but it's about uh, designing and building airships and fighting wars with them. Uh, let's see, do I want any other bonuses? Probably not. Let me get rid of the, uh... Where's the wrench? I don't want the wrench. That's too much. There we go. That's too many. Also, this color scheme is hideous, but I'll fix it in a second. Or Canton, huh? That could be alright. Okay, let's see. It's not really the one that I wanted to change the color of. It is ships fighting wars, factually speaking. Now, how do I... Why is this like this? If I want that to be blue... Why does that have to change? 
Oh, because it's actually obeying the chivalric rules, isn't it? I think that's the problem. <laughs> I can't have two primary colors next to each other. Okay. Sure. Is there any color I can have here? That's... that's a little better. Let's go with that. Okay. Lord's Port, those are our arms. Hopefully we don't die immediately. And here we are. I don't want the tutorial. Oh my god, I really don't want the tutorial. Alright. Let's take a look at the map. Alright. Kind of a isthmus type deal going on here. So we're here. Lord's Port. We got that town and two others. Small ones. This one has gold mines. So that's worth holding on to. Let me know if the music is too loud. We've got five neighbors, something like that. A lot. The logical first choice for expansion is probably Oddbury. There are parasitic clockwork wasps up there. Terrifying, staying well away from those. There's a crashed beehive here, which could be worth a lot, so that's good. We are. We have a single starter ship. Let's see here. Well, actually, first of all, research. Set that. I think we start with all these, yeah. So we're going to want to grab... Optics, because this gives accuracy. And... Then probably... I don't know, you pretty much have to get all these in the end. Probably reinforced hulls, and then maybe... I prefer less explosive ammunition myself. We'll start like that. Diplomacy, is there any neighbor we don't want to, don't want to go to war with? Okay, good. Chrono. Bossic. I mean, really, I don't need formal non-aggression pacts, but... Okay, you're dishonorable, so not you. Oh, no, wait, that's Hatwick. Corono. How do you feel about this? They like it. How about that? Okay. Good. Peace in our time. One less neighbor to worry about for now. Okay, city defenses are terrible, although there's a bunch of them, but the, these, these legs, they're so fragile. Our ship, we have one. It's an airship airship, as opposed to a... Well, look, there's two ways you can... Let me see if I can see it in the components here. Look, you can suspend airships using either dust tanks, which look like airships, or suspendium chambers that don't look like airships. This is the one that does look like airships. And it's armed with a ballista and some muskets. So it's pretty garbage. We're going to need to work on that. At least this decorative figurehead increases HP by 100. I'm not building any more of those, because I don't like airship-looking airships. 
just the, in the game at least. Fleet Academy would be fine. Um, let's see, that gives research. That gives garrisons. Let's build ourselves a couple of markets for income. And then we're going to need a starter ship, like one that wasn't designed by the AI. So that's going to require such things as a propeller, a suspendium chamber. Never mind that it's not connected. We'll figure that out later. Quarters, ammo store. Let me just put it all out here. Bridge, repair bay, kind of optional. We'll come back to that. Cannons, several of them. Coal. Yes. Firepoint. Yes. Alright, alright, alright. We need to fit, fit all this together a little. What is it to flip? It's under my mouse. It's a terrible sign. I think it's X. Yeah. Flipped it not the way I wanted it. Propeller there, suspendium next to it, suspendium makes things float, coal next to that because that's where we need it to be, um, quarters, sort of here possibly, no, quarters forwards, so that can be what gets hit when we get hit. Along with the fire point. Okay, bridge, quarters, coal, spendium, propeller, ammo store, fire. We have a bridge. We have. We need supply, that's fine. This will give us accuracy. It'll be mutually accessible. Don't worry about it. There you go. What else do we need? What is our service ceiling? Really high, actually. Over 100 meters is pretty good. But we haven't put any weapons on, so that will change things a little. Sails are not... This is not a 18th century vessel. Let's see. Cargo bay. No. Machine shop. No. Repair bay, maybe. We could probably squeeze one of those in. Anything else I'm missing that we desperately need? Well, supply hatch, but that's... Kind of just stick those anywhere. I don't even know why we have them. So then that brings us to weapons and troops. Yeah. There's a lot of things we can technically put on here. Who on earth would put it? It's so big. <laughs> it's not even accurate against airships. I think this is only supposed to be for ground forts. We actually have aerial charges. Look, we're going to want cannons mainly, I think. Perhaps also... <laughs> Who wouldn't put a giant trebuchet on their ship, really? Cannons. Grape shot cannons. This also is not accurate against airships, so pass on that. Muskets are pointless, because these are ships. So are rifles. Grape shot cannons are good against light ships, at least. Bombs. No, because the best way to use bombs is to build a specialist ship for them. This, we're not big enough to make it worth it. Ram. Might add a lot of weight. And I don't really have a good place to put it, but... That doesn't really... 
attach exactly. Um, No, it doesn't even want to go on there. Oh, unless it's facing the wrong way. Everything wants to think the ship is going the other way, but I definitely built it to go this way. Probably a ram is too expensive. Or not too expensive, but just not worth it. I've actually really confused it by building the ship to go left instead of right. But it'll figure it out. Okay. This does not get called risable. This is a Corvette, a really basic one. So... I need a naming scheme because it's strictly alphabetical, so... What's a good Corvette name? I can name it after... Hmm. Towns are for cruisers. Okay. Let's build one. And, and it's going to name the actual ship LPC Fox, but that's fine. Alright, so... We can probably on pause. I'm going to send our one spy over to Oddbury so that we can find out whether they're invadable or not. this. Ooh, wreckage for the Imperial Fleet. How handy. Good. Close, but good. Hmm. They have minimal fixed defenses, but they have three airships, including this one that looks like a river barge. Oh, I didn't do any decorating on our new ship. Oh well. That being said, tell you what we do need to do when our Corvette is finished in one second. We need to heavily refit this immediately. You know, it also goes this way. I don't know why they were so mad about it. Ballista. Who on earth puts a ballista on an airship? It has steam power. I'm also removing the muskets. And we will arm her with some more useful things, such as... Her service ceiling is not that high, even as it is, so... You know, cannon, cannon... It's a little close to the blimp. Probably, but I'm putting it there anyway. Cannon. Any other blatant deficiencies? She's got ammo. Bridge. She's got enough crew. I don't quite know where is most of the crew. Sleeping, I mean. Oh, right here. Okay. Let's make her a bit better. Worth the expense, because it costs way more to build a new ship. Hmm. They're refitting things already. I 
Alright, my one spy. Go to this city instead. See what we need aside from six eighty three. Yeah, we didn't Britain was big around Corvettes, I think. We call things frigates more when they're really small. But I actually think this is too small to make a decent frigate, probably. Hey, your name is not... There we go. Didn't do any decorating. Hope the crew doesn't object. Oh yes, those. Well... Um, what else is a small? Those are similar to foxes. Okay, this city is mostly... We need something with bombs. Anything with bombs, we'll handle those quite easily. So that's what we're going to need to design. Let me steal this design on the assumption that it mostly basically works. Let me remove all the guns. Let's see, repair bay, fire, ammo, yeah. Should be fine. And let me add... Bombs. Bombs, 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 bombs. No, the bombs don't connect to the rest of the ship. Hold on. Mm -hmm. More bombs. That might be too many bombs, but I'm going to stick with it anyway. It's got a full-size ammo store. Yeah, that's fair. Although the terms have become very... Um, in, not exactly interchangeable, but confused as of the post-war era. <laughs> that might be too many bombs, but like we might run out of ammunition really fast, but uh, you know, the service ceiling's a little low. What do we gain? Six meters for every bomb I take off? Also, I hate that it's uneven, but... Um, Let's just keep the lot and see how it performs. We might need to modify that radically. What do we name a bomber after? Um, I'm not very creative. So we need that to deal with fixed defenses, which can be very powerful in this game, potentially. And then all the others are to deal with the enemy fleet, which, you know... Back to that city, so I can tell what they've changed. They don't change fixed defenses that often, but they do change the other stuff pretty often. How's the state of the world? Looks pretty stable, so far. Building another fort. The fleet is unchanged. 
I can't quite even tell what these are armed with. Unless they're for boarding, which I... Did I just build a... F did I intend to build a fleet academy? Did I forget that from 10 seconds ago, or did I misclick on it? Oh no, I didn't even build it. I don't know why, I just imagined that. Oh, that was them building a fleet academy, I see, yeah. Oh, we have actual stats on this, huh? Oh, this thing's expensive. Okay, these are really cheap. They might be mostly for boarding. Or they're bombers themselves. I can't really see the details. Sadly. So then the question becomes... First of all, do they have any allies? No. So then the other question is, can we beat them? One would hope yes. There's not a lot of subtlety to diplomacy in this game, really. I don't know who's closer to this city. Oh, an age of plenty. 15% income. And a second spy I can use to spy on our other neighbors. Alright, let's go. Oh. That's convenient. They're responding to the other invasion of their borders. Okay, that's a bit embarrassing. They're just going to surrender instantly, but uh, let's start to fight anyway, shall we? Oh, this bomber's service ceiling is terrible, but that's all right. Get up here and bomb. See, one of the things the AI really... Oh, these are going to face def backwards by default. Okay, I really should have done something about that. Oops. That might have been solely due to a collision between us. Uh, one of the things the AI usually does not bother with when designing uh, fortresses is to put anything on them that fires up, so... If you can bomb them from directly overhead... You're usually pretty okay. Is this bomber... What happened to your propeller, buddies? Get back over here. Why are you so damn slow? There we go. Out of... You're not even out of ammo. Something is slightly suboptimal about that. We'll work on it. You're still facing backwards. And since they have no ships, it's pretty much just a matter of bombing them until they surrender. There we go. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna go for... It's hardly ever worth it to go for the more aggressive forms of conquest in these games. Alright, our damage isn't that bad. We're just gonna hang out here. Apparently they held Woundford. Good for them. We've got telescopes. Really, we should refit every ship we've got with them, but uh, eh. we'll get to it. What do they have? OK, 
Okay, all their ships survived, so they won pretty easily. We need... I'm probably not thinking big enough, but honestly... Build more... What else is Fox like? We have to repair our bomber, but at least I think it's our bomber. But oh, a diplomatic delegation with hyperstorming and moongazy pies. Sure. Yes, that just alters. The di diplomatic system is a little bit tacked on, to be honest. I mean, it's better than the not no diplomatic system that once existed, but... Okay, we've taken the place. Let's, uh... Repair their fort, but also it sucks. We're gonna need to design our own better forts, too. Yes, the fleet is theoretically strong enough to... How good is these guys' fleet? Oh, not very good. Of course, they lost that battle, but... Oh, they're invading. Okay, well, that's not the brightest move, let's be honest. Oh, you reckon this is a defeat, huh? Oh, doesn't really feel like a defeat to me. It'd be nice if all my ships would face in the right direction. Okay, well, if we take their capital, well, they can build more ships because they just took another country's capital, but it's pretty crippling. That being said, they have two forts and a ship, so this will be a much harder fight. We have to get rid of that first. And then we have to get you to maybe sneak under the fleet. And over to... Oh, hell, it is a boarding ship. Well, I was worried about that from the start. That's going to be a big problem. We don't really have any defenses against that, because I was forgot to install them. Well, that ship was expendable. Hopefully the bomber does its job. Let's not get boarded anymore. Where the hell is it going? Coyote, Jackal, those are good names, yeah. Drifts a lot. Okay, I think we blew their propeller off or something. They seem to be stuck. So we are going to try... Well, we'll send Weasel back. Should we have a prefix? We should probably have a prefix, huh? Rain? I feel like these are gunpowder cannons. They might struggle with that.
Why do you go out of position so easily? Well, hopefully... There's not much I can do to affect this now. Just hopefully we, uh... can successfully bombard these forts into submission. I mean, we have our own cannon, but they're much better armored than us. And the bombing ship is out of ammo. Probably should have given it more. It's a terrible ramming effort. One down, though. Can you reach the altitude that this guy's at? No. Look, we only have one weapon left, and it's the entire hull. It's only reasonable. I don't think it's really doing anything, but, uh... Except entertaining me while the rest of the ships do things. We are winning. slowly. Oh, there we go. Okay. Defeat. Okay. No, oh, they've wiped out whoever was down there. Quiet. Alright, so that's two cities. That's a success. Thanks for watching, Air Sailors. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch the campaign live on Twitch. Hope you all have a nice day. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.